Now would you please welcome Miss Washington 1980, Doris Hayes. <laughs> Baby cried the day the circus came to town Cause she didn't like parades just passing by her So she painted on a smile and she took up with some clown And she danced without a net upon the wire I know a lot about her cause you see like me we don't cry out loud we just keep it inside and we learn how to hide our feelings fly high and proud and if you should fall remember you almost had it all saw them when they pulled the big top down they left behind her dreams among the litter and the different kind of a love she thought she found it was nothing more than some sawdust and some glitter but baby can't be broken cause you Keep it inside And we learn how to hide Our feelings Fly high and proud And if you should fall Remember you almost made it Don't cry out loud We just keep it inside And we learn how to hide Wonderful job. Are you going to sing that song, perhaps? No, I'm not. Uh, I get America? too nervous when I play the piano. Are you going to be going to sing? Of course, I am for the, singing. The talent portion of the pageant in Atlantic City. Yes, I am. Do you know what song it's going to be? Right Our now? love is here to stay. Uh, and who's oh, gonna, Billy Holiday. Who's going to back you up? The, they have an orchestra, orchestra back there? there, the Glenn Oster Orchestra. You leave the end of this month. I leave August 29th, going uh -huh. back to Atlantic City. And Ron Ely. Tarzan. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you a little upset you're not going to get to meet Bert Oh, a Parts? little. I was waiting to hear him sing Miss America. There she is, Miss America. When I take my walk down the road. That's ride. right. <laughs> but. You know, I, you know wouldn't it, I think there was this whole nationwide thing to boycott, to, or not to watch, or to, to send postcards, or do something in the way of being upset about the fact that Bert Parks wasn't hired back by oh. NBC. It'd be great if... Uh, all the contestants boycotted like, the Miss America pageant. Oh, I, I don't know. think so. Well, after 25 <laughs> years, I think Bert was ready to uh, ready to go. Ready uh, to go. Go to that great pageant in the sky. <laughs> well, he's with another pageant now. He's with the International Teenager Pageant. Oh. Yeah. Give us a little background about pageants. Um, how do you get to be Miss Washington? Where do you start? You've been doing it for a couple years, right? Well, I ran for a local. It all starts at the local level. And I ran for Miss Pierce County, which is the biggest local in Washington and about five other states on the West Coast. And we had Miss Pierce County in the audience, the girl that stood up and asked a question previously. And I ran for that. The first year I was first runner-up, and then I decided to run again. And, uh, and now along the way, you've already collected quite a few Right, you collect prizes. money. As, at the local level, I collected $1,000 for winning. But first runner-up received $450. And then there's a Miss Congeniality Award, and I received that the first oh, year. I can but see not that. the second. <laughs> Not the second. You got less congenial. No, well, I think they kind of know the that. The winner doesn't get to be Miss Congeniality. No, right? never. Very seldom does a winner get to be Miss Congeniality. The, uh, I think it's important to remember that the beauty pageants are kind of changing the focus a little bit now. We don't want to call them 
beauty pageants anymore. Though. Well, there are beauty pageants. This isn't one, though. This one, We're trying to live that part the of it The Miss Washington down. pageants, mm -hmm. call, is it called the Miss Washington pageant? It's called the Miss Washington scholarship pageant. Just as the Miss Seafair coronation is now the Miss Seafair uh, scholarship pageant. Right, right. Okay. How much in the way of scholarship money have you earned so far? For, uh, Up to this point, yeah. counting the local and state, yeah. about 6500 Oh, and, that's terrific. And what does Miss uh, America walk away with? Oh, twenty thousand dollars in scholarship, and then she receives a year's touring the states, going to different cities mm -hmm. and local pageants, and she receives about eighty-five to a hundred thousand a year. Oh my goodness! Of course, you work too. We know that oh. they absolutely, boy, they they're spending ten hours a day. They're lugging, you know, what seems like tons of luggage from airport to airport. They are on call at all hours of the day to to work. Let's talk about something that I hope you don't feel uncomfortable talking mm -hmm. about, but let's, let's be honest about it, and that is that there has never been a black Miss America. No. What are some of your thoughts going into the pageant with that, uh, that kind of uh, tradition that the, the pageant... Well, has? there's never been a black Miss Pierce County. There wasn't a black, there's never been a black Miss Washington. Mm -hmm. So I've been in that position twice as being the first to break the ice for girls after me. Yeah. So I think I can break the ice as being the first black Miss America. What kind of response are you getting from, from members of the black community? I'll bet that well, that's an important thing to them. They were really excited and shocked because, again, they thought, well, they'll never pick a black Miss Washington. And mm -hmm. there were a lot few other people, white, black, whatever. Had, they just didn't think a black girl could do it, not because she wasn't capable, but because we just weren't ready for one. But that doesn't, does that prejudice you in any way against the pageant itself? No, it doesn't because I think people are a product of their past experiences and all of these people that are judges, I mean, we're human, we all have, if we see one thing wrong, we tend to stereotype and say everyone's that way. Mm -hmm. So for years, blacks have had just different stereotypes on them and yeah. so I think it's time to live those down a little yeah. bit. Well, if anybody can do it, you certainly That's can. right. <laughs> um, so you, you go to Atlantic City, what, what, is, your, what is your first, what, I guess it's one week there, right? It's one week full of rehearsals and you start writing on rehearsals and then press pictures and the press is very aggressive back there. They take pictures of the first woman to arrive back there mm -hmm. and then the last one and they write different stories on you so you better be you're on stage the minute you leave you've that really plane. been warned about this haven't you yes i have <laughs> you been you know warned what, what by former expect. queens and just everyone that's been back what, there what are you doing right now you, you've already been through quite a bit well i've been modeling i was at carolyn hansen a few weeks ago and you go through shopping goes through clothes i mainly shop throughout portland because you have to stay in vancouver when you're crowned miss washington wow. That's where they've your grooming you, comes out of. They've, what, they've got you hidden there? They have me hidden there. I've been <laughs> home three times since I won the crown. And, and, and what's your daily routine like? Uh, well, you get up early in the morning and watch, uh, well, Seattle Today doesn't come Natural. down down there. Oh, so yeah. I can't watch you, unfortunately. <laughs> but I We watch send postcards of those. <laughs> Don't on the show. Like they have one AM Northwest down there. Mm -hmm. So you watch that, the Today Show, Good Morning America. And just keep up on current events because they really hit you with a lot in interviews. If we can go back a little bit to what the first, what that first few days in Atlantic City might be like, uh, you're probably well aware that the press looks for any little, any uh, little controversy, thing. anything right. that's a little out of line. Do you have you ever felt a, a great deal of um, uh, competition among the girls that uh, you have been in previous pageants with? I mean, you know, you see a young lady, and boy, she just did a dynamite song, or that that uh, lady great dancer. Right. Boy, she sure looks good tonight. Do these kinds of thoughts go through your all, mind? All the time, and you think you're the worst <laughs> one all the time. You never give yourself positive. Everyone looks good but you. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's so gorgeous, they're so pretty, and then you look, oh gosh, I look terrible, my makeup's, you know. But I think the thing to do about that is to psych yourself up and just have a certain, I think, a level. When you get back there, you have to be secure that you have done the best you possibly can to train yourself for that pageant. And what goes through your mind with regard to questions? I, can, I, can I share with you one moment that I had asking sure. a question as MC of the Miss Seafair one time? Sure. I asked a young lady, uh, the, the questions were not made up by me, they made up by the judges. And one of the questions was, which would you rather be, a, a big frog in a small pond or a small frog in a big pond? And I asked this question, and this... this young girl, 17 or 18 years of age, I, the eyes just went <laughs> glazed over with sheer panic struck. I don't want to be a frog. And about 10 seconds later, she said that, she screamed it. I don't want to be a frog. <laughs> and I kind of backpedaled and tried to, you know, change the question and around a little bit. Swim. But that's got to that's be a rough moment. You get that question. Well, what happened? They took that out of the Miss America pageant. They don't have an impromptu question anymore. The only thing you have with those judges is your seven-minute interview. But you uh -huh. get questions and like that. And that's a private interview. Right? That it's yeah. a private interview, but you have cameras in there at the Miss America level. At state, it's just a few chaperones and you. What are some of the other things you've been warned about? You have a chaperone that, that accompanies you, you right everywhere. now for, forever until this is over, right? Right. 
And, and what are some of the warnings? You don't, you don't get you to mean slip Fort Atlantic out City at, You don't get to slip out at night and go discoing. You can. You can if you don't have your crown and banner on. They're pretty lenient about that. You can go out and do what you want, but isn't they always say you have a morality clause in there, and we do because I really think that this is a, a special thing right here. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. Uh, where, where's hometown for him? Louisiana. <laughs> Louisiana. <laughs> but he's up here now. He has a job oh. in Tacoma. Oh, I ask these long-distance romances going to be. Yeah, a all bit. right, that wouldn't okay. work. No. So uh, is uh, he's backing you all the way? Oh, of course. all the way. And uh, you get the admiration. Uh, from a lot of young men, though, when you're in the position that you're in, oh, yeah. and uh, does he get jealous about? Oh, this? all the time, but I yeah. love it. What is it? <laughs> you love it. It's fun. <laughs> Listen, best of luck to you back in Atlantic City. Oh, thank we'll, you. We'll all be we'll all be cheering for you now. Yeah, thank we'll, you. And we'll watch. You, bet. you better. It's on watch. Channel Five, so of course. <laughs> Channel we'll Five. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Doris Hayes, and we'll have more of Seattle today for you with some locale desserts right after this. <laughs>